Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lossu. How a pressure cooker works. I bet you've been wondering this. Well, let me tell you. In 1679, Denis Papin, he invented something called a steam digester. And what this steam digester did is it enclosed water as it, as it was heated and turned to steam in an airtight container to cook food faster. So there are two main types of pressure cooker. You've got venting. Venting are ones that release steam during operation. And you've got non-venting. And non-venting only release steam if the pressure builds up too much or if you want to then take the lid off, you need to release all the steam and then take the lid off. So venting and non-venting. That's all very well, but what's the science behind it? I'll tell you. At standard temperature and pressure, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the cooking temperature of the food in water is limited by the temperature the water boils at, which is 100, because you can't increase the temperature until all the water is boiled off. When it's all liquid, it, the maximum it'll go to is 100. You can't do it unless all the water's boiled off, unless you use a pressure cooker. When it's sealed in a pressure cooker, the boiling point rises because of the pressure of the steam on the actual water. So it can get up to a temperature of 121 degrees Celsius when you raise the atmospheric pressure by one bar. So when you're boiling water, all the energy, all the heat energy, is going to help the water molecules to escape the liquid to become steam. That's where all the energy goes to. That's why it doesn't get above 100 degrees Celsius until all the water is gone. If you trap it in a pressure cooker, then what happens is you've got the pressure of the steam pushing down on the water and that, re that reduces the chance, the possibility, of the water turning into steam. So therefore, it turns into steam at a much higher temperature, 121 degrees Celsius. As a general rule of thumb, if you increase the temperature of a chemical reaction by 10 degrees Celsius, then it doubles the rate of the chemical reaction, which halves the time that it takes for that chemical reaction to take place. For example, cooking food. So if you're increasing the temperature to 120 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees above the temperature of the water, then the cooking time is gonna to reduce to a quarter half and half again, a quarter. So that means your food will cook in a quarter of a time as it would if it's just at 100 degrees Celsius. Amazing, right? Pressure cooks are fantabulous if you're going up at high altitudes because the boiling point of water drops by one degree Celsius for every 294 meters that you go up. If you're going very high up, the boiling point of water can be reduced to 90 or 80 degrees Celsius, so therefore it will take even longer to cook food. A pressure cooker increases that, so therefore you can cook food in a much faster time at higher altitudes. So that, that answers the questions that a lot of people have been asking. How does a pressure cooker work? Thanks so much for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye. Love you, bye.